Hi guys, my name is Jacqueline and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this little family or channel or whatever you want to call it. I'd love to have you a part of this. And if you're the one disliking every single one of my videos, keep it up because you're still giving me a view. Um, also, if you watch me weekly, thank you so much. And today I have my handy dandy notebook and I thought I would tell you guys some of my pet peeves because we all have them and I think it's interesting to hear other people's pet peeves and sometimes you can relate sometimes you're like really that bothers you but I thought I'd share some of mine so let's get into it um when somebody discredits my anxiety it tells me to calm down or it, it's all in my head which it's like sure anxiety is definitely all in my head but that doesn't mean that I can, you know, make it just go away. You know what I mean? Um, when somebody constantly bugs me to do something after I have said several times no. I cannot stand when somebody does that. I get increasingly more angry because it's just like, if I say no to something, you can ask me like a second time. But after the second time, like, just drop it. It's not going to happen. Um, when someone refuses to give me my space. Like, I like being alone 90, maybe 80% of the time because, I don't know, I just, I've always been like that. I've never really had somebody be in my life all the time where it's like, you know, I'm not used to that. I mean, like, I have parents and everything else, but that doesn't mean anything really. It's just like, I'm not used to having somebody always come in and out and like, want to interact with me all the time. So, I like being alone. <laughs> And my boyfriend's kind of the same way, like, we're very much, like, we love each other and, like, we'll hang out, but, like, we we really do enjoy our alone time as well. Um, when somebody says I am or assume I am negative, but really I just, being honest, if they ask me my opinion, like, you shouldn't have gotten mad for asking if you wanted it. Like, people that assume because when they ask my opinion, it's going to come out negative. It's like, no, I'm just being honest with you. Like, if you want me to lie and make it more positive for you, even though I don't feel that way, I'm not saying that I, I can come off as a negative person, but it's not like I'm, like, it's not like that's the vibe I want or ask for. It's just, I don't know. I guess I just come out that way, but, um, when people ask me, me for my opinions and maybe it doesn't match theirs that and they get upset, that's what bothers me because it's like, well, why ask? <laughs> um, people who are, who are purposely ignorant towards others' mental health issues and tries to dictate how they should feel. I've had that where people should just be like, well, you should just like think more positive and like you'll feel better or like you should just like not let it bother you and it's like that's not how that works if if i could do that i yeah i'd probably be in much better moods most of the time sorry guys i have really bad allergies today so i'm like trying not to sneeze um people who are just plain rude um yeah i've had a recent thing where somebody was just very rude and most people that watch my videos know exactly what it is and um yeah let's just say i'm laughing now <laughs> very much um when my headphones are tangled even when i am not using them like how like i have one time brought my headphones to the hairdressers because after i was done getting my hair done i was just gonna walk home and uh, literally, it was tangled in a ball and a mess. And they were just sitting in my pocket for like four hours. And I'm like, how? This is so annoying. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's not what I want. Here we are. When someone makes you, makes me late for anything. Like, I hate being late. I have to be either 10 minutes early or like five minutes, no later. 
I don't like being late by any means because um, my mom was very good about raising me, my brother having like, you know, um, what do you call it? Scheduling and, you know, we were on good schedules and that kind of turned us into, well, me anyways. I cannot be late for anything and I get really mad when I'm late because it's like, really? Like... I don't know what it is. It's just a feeling of, like, I don't like it, obviously. Um, when I am at, um, when I'm out and I have to go to the, into the grocery store and I'm in, in the line, in the checkout, and the person in front of me has a fistful of coupons, and when they finally check out, the person behind me just seems so annoyed and angry at me, and I didn't do anything. I've had that where, like, a lot, where... Somebody is, like, literally price matching every item in their cart, and then they finally get out, like, get out, and I, I'm just literally paying, and I can hear the person behind me, like, oh, hurry up, and it's like, you really just got up here, do you not? I don't say anything, but I'm like, okay, I can see where you're going with this. Um, when you <laughs> play an online game like GTA or Red Dead, and people just keep killing you left and right, and you're not even antagonizing it. Oh, that bothers me so much. Because it's like, you know, if you're, like, passing by a person online and they're not doing anything, they're just doing their own thing, like, leave them alone, you know? But I'm talking about the people, like, sure, go ahead and kill them if you want online, like, whatever. But you know what I mean? It's, it's when, it's when they continuously keep finding you on purpose, like, they're following you and they keep, doing it over and over again, like, reapers, like, it's like, do you really have, like, nothing be else better to do with your time? Like, clearly not, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> um, another thing is, like, I don't like people that, you know, try to degrade anybody about anything, especially about their knowledge, I guess you could say, and their, like, you know, schooling and stuff. I just think it's stupid when people, or when women degrade other women, because it's like, is that really what we're, we're coming down to? We're fighting for equality, but and yet there's no equality in ourselves, because you're going to pit this woman against this woman, and you're going to have a problem with this woman, and you're just going to make her feel like crap all the time because she is another woman, and it's like, what's the point? Does that make, does that really fuel you? And if it does, then you have a very sick and twisted reality of, well, reality. And I just think that there's not enough women supporting other women. And I'm not saying you have to support every little thing they do. Like, you don't have to, if you don't like what they do, then don't support them. But, like, you don't have to tear another woman down. Meaning telling them they're ugly or telling them they're fat or telling them they're useless or, like, stupid. Now, telling them one thing about them that maybe they can change isn't necessarily a negative or a bad thing. It's more just giving them kind of constructive criticism to either they can do something with it or they can get offended by it. And that's on them. And I, I know I have a lot of things I need to fix in myself. And it may or may not happen, but, I mean, I'm still living and I'm still doing my thing. Um, also, I don't like when people discredit people who, um, also, actually, not even discredit. I don't even like people that bring up things that have nothing to do with anything. Like, say you're talking about a certain subject and then they bring up something from 10 to 20 years ago and you're just like, what does that have to do with right this second? Because now you have to, it's like, you have to find the connection and find the math in it and, like, figure out, well, how does this time period go with this time period? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, how does that have to do with this? Or when you're telling somebody a story and they cut you off and then they tell you another story and then they go into another one and then another one and you're just like, okay, I wasn't finished with mine. But okay. <laughs> like, I know I do that a lot, but not maybe to that extent. Like, I'll probably, like, say, oh, oh like, I remember this time, blah, 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 blah. And then, hopefully, I remember to let the other person finish what they were saying. But sometimes they just don't. And it's like, oh, well. 
but anyways, like, you know, it's, it's things like that. And I just, I wanted to make this video not only because I needed to make a video, if I'm going to be honest, um, it's more because I wanted to say these things and hopefully instill some sort of lesson, I guess. I don't know. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and also I just wanted to talk about things that maybe bother other people or maybe not who knows um but I really do appreciate every single one of you who are watching regardless if you're watching for good or evil whatever one floats your boat and um follow my Instagram and Twitch they will be linked in the description box below and I thank you guys so much for watching and in case nobody's told you today you matter bye guys